So it's about noon on August 23rd, 2019. Um, I'm going to lump this together. I'm going to shoot an update here for the property. And I also wanted to go around and show the other two lots or parcels that are still for sale. Hello and welcome to Carlin's Off Grid YouTube channel. I do things <laughs> differently. I'm a wanderer, a tinkerer, a nerd, and a US Navy veteran. I have a motorcycle, a truck, and a school bus. Oh, and I built my house now. There might also be spaceships and stuff. I live off grid. I'm powered by the universe. Comments are always welcome. It would be really awesome if you could subscribe. Hey, all right, you found me. My name is Carlin and I've got a off grid house here on a little ranch in West Texas. Thanks for joining, I'll show you around. More info is on my website, you should totally check that out. Link is in the description. Cool, on with the show already. Okay, I've got a couple maps and graphics I'm going to flash up here on screen just to help kind of get you orientated to where everything is at. The last image here I'm going to have as a picture in picture later on so when we're on the different parts of the property you'll be able to see actually where in reference this is. Parcels 15 and 16 are the ones that are for sale. They are on the lower corner. They both uh, face the county road and are closest to county power. That's west. That's about north. that's east back to the house now what we're gonna do I'm gonna walk around to a few points and just kind of show you the basic property layout this fence line runs through lots 27 and 17 we're facing towards the county road right now in the distance are the three points that's basically due west approximately look up and pick up the fence line again and this is the back side of the bus in the house east is about there I set the house and the bus to be as close to straight east-west as I could get it it's pretty close in this direction 27 is on this side it goes 17, 16, 15. They all face towards the county road. So I've got three rectangles and one triangle. That's basically west. And right here, there's a little post and you can probably see a little yellow blip on the ground. On this side is 17, which is sold. We're standing on 27, which is mine. And on this side is 16. All right. So, if you wanted if you wanted this tree, buy number 16. <laughs> Most of the land it alternates, I guess. Like areas like here, you can walk pretty easily. You just walk between the bushes. If we went back towards that thicket. You really don't walk through that. You just walk around it. I mean, if you had a really serious reason to go through there, I guess you could. Uh, a lot of the rabbits and stuff I think are in there. So I just try to stay out of it. And if you can't see the ground in, in rattlesnake season, it's really not safe to be walking through there. Because you just never know. You could be really close to something and not have any idea. So I try to, as much as possible, stay on the ground that I can see. I feel pretty comfortable out here if I can see 10 feet around me. When I get close to a thicket like this, I try to stay away from it. And if we look this direction, it's basically south. It definitely slopes down to the south. So my lot, 27, is the highest point of my four lots. And then you get just contours. It's not just flat. There's little rise and fall, but it does tend to go downhill. The river is that way, the Rio Grande. So water flows that way eventually. Uh, if we look across valley, the lowest part of the valley is quite a ways in that direction, and then it starts to go up again. 
So you just kind of look around, you get the lay of the land. Okay, this is the second fence line. This runs at opposite angles to the first fence line that I showed you earlier. The first fence line cuts through 27 and 17 and goes to the county road. This fence line runs parallel to the county road and this cuts through 17, 16, and 15. So we're looking towards west. Uh, west is about there. And we are on 16 still, looking towards 17. And then turning towards the south. Again, you can kind of see the ground is mostly open. You can walk around here pretty easily. And there's again the hills in the east. And for reference, we're at the fence and we're looking, there's the bus and the house on 27. So you get a lot of room out here. This is the marker between 16 and 15. County road is that way. South is about there. And if you see kind of a bright spot right there, that is the corner of Wells Fargo Lane. I'll show you that better in a minute. The way that this lot is set up, for 15, it's not a true rectangle. It takes, it, uh, takes into account the angle of the county road that makes a bend. I'll show that on the map. So it's narrower at this end and wider at the other end. All right. According to the paperwork I got, they were surveyed to be approximately 20 acres. That's a pretty good looking example of one kind of cactus that's out here. That is probably close to two feet deep, three feet across. It's got a pretty good green color. It's thriving right now. Some of the other ones look a little darker if they aren't doing as well, but that's really bright green. I assume green is good. Could be wrong. This is just a few feet from that last marker I showed you. So we are on right on the edge between 15 and 27 at the tip of the triangle. Right ahead like that pile of dirt is on the other side of Wells Fargo Lane. And right here is Wells Fargo. There's this little short line facing more or less towards the east, southeast probably. And if I pan around, this is Wells Fargo Lane that goes due north. And that's the direction we came from. That's Wells Fargo Lane. We're facing more or less towards the west. West is about there. This is the top corner of 15. And this is the continuation of Wells Fargo Lane. The county road is that way. All right, forward of us is the county road. This is the gate. This is the fence that runs through 15, 16, and 17. Now for reference, if we look back up this way, that was the top corner of 15 that we were just at. And slightly visible just to the side of the bush is a silver roof of my bus and the workshop in the house. All right, so see how far that is. And rough numbers, I've never measured it, but it's probably at least twice as far towards the county road from here. So if you look at your lots, this fence is approximately two thirds of the way between the county road and the top of the lot. So it would be up to you if you decided to build, if you wanted to be on the county road side or the back side, your choice. County road in front of us, there's the sign, Wells Fargo Lane, County Road, and County Power, or whatever they want to call it, electricity. I wanted to point this out. There is a drainage ditch that runs across the face of the property along the County Road. For 15, you're set. You've already got the driveway just come in on Wells Fargo. For 16, 
you'd either need to make a driveway and put another culvert in, or I've seen some of the neighbors just kind of dig it out enough to where you can drive through it. It doesn't rain that often, so it wouldn't be that big of a deal. But again, you can see that there has been water here because that's where all the bigger trees are. So all the way along the edge of the county road, you'll see some trees, and then you'll see a few thickets that are back in here. And right through there is the bus. There's just enough of a rise and fall. If you get to the right spots, you don't even see the bus anymore. And from here, that's Wells Fargo Lane going back. And really not visible on camera probably is the gate that's quite a ways back there. Okay, we're looking about east. East is a little more this way. Again, the mountains. In this spot, the county road and the county power don't quite track, but they do further up. My understanding from talking to my neighbors, I've never really researched this. The first pole is very inexpensive. It's part of your hookup. After that, poles get very expensive. So that's an example of a pole with a transformer. If you build closest to the road, it's fairly inexpensive to hook up from what people have told me. I don't have any numbers, but if you are like me way off the road, it's quite expensive. Fifteen extends past the turn and then comes around and then starts. Uh, Sixteen is on the other side of the turn, so on this end of the property it's really wide and it's pretty narrow at the top end. And again the sign, County Road, Wells Fargo Lane. Alright, we're on 15, kind of out in the middle on the lower side between the fence and the County Road. Just kind of a personality point or something. There's this high point here that's got lots of rocks exposed. I mean, it's not more than a few feet, but it stands out. And then there's kind of a lower point through there. So you got kind of a, I'm not going to call it a ridge line, but a higher ridge here. And kind of an open spot there. So for reference again, I'm just going to keep using that for a landmark. There's the bus and the house. I uh, can't really see the fence, but the fence is in here. Wells Fargo Lane is not very far this way, it's just where you can't see it. And there's the power poles I pointed out earlier. We're on 16, pretty sure. So, in that direction is the, my place, north to east. This is more like a, a sheep fence, a square mesh fence, and then it's got two strands of barbed wire on top. South. Well, that's about it. Right, that's about it for this week thanks for watching if you have any questions or comments leave them below uh, if you're new to the channel definitely subscribe and uh, what else is there patreon and paypal and all that other stuff check out the uh, the link in the description i've got a page on my website gives you a lot more information about the ranch and everything i'm doing out here so again thanks for now and i'll see you soon bye for now more info is on my website you should totally check that out link is in the description I do things <laughs> differently.